Hello everyone, Nazanogami here, welcome to a brand new... Well, I have yet to determine if it's gonna be a weird Let's Play or just for fun Let's Play, but... Either way, it's Cthulhu Saves the World! Yes, you read that right. Cthulhu Saves the World. It's a... Pe RPG parody? Of RPG games. See, I'm gonna go through, uh... Controls first. I did try to fiddle around with this game some, and I was having some issues with the controls that I had just set up for myself. But... Let's move on. Cthulhu's Angels! Score Attack Highlander Overkill. Gotta beat the game, but... Goodness. More, learn more about the creation of the game. And no. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rylia. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Eh, I'm not so sure about some of these pronunciations, but Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu! That mimicking from Alone in the Dark. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Gah! After waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating! I must get my powers back! But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Who knows, maybe he'll turn out to be good in the process. <laughs> Foolish narrator! Um, what? While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I, too, know the way to regain my power. Whoops. <laughs> so this narrator is his own character, huh? I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero, only so that I can regain my powers, summon Rylia to the surface, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero! <laughs> yeah, you don't need the tips, but I do! Sell it back to the game store before the trade-in value drops! Sorry, but I got this on Steam. I can save it any time, what is this, a first-person shooter? <laughs> if you're done yet, if it's alright with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometime this year. So this is what I was having trouble with earlier. Uh... Yeah, I just had to get my control straight. You got three one-ups. Use reset a failed battle. What have we got? Eh, not much. Let's actually start this game! Eh, okay, get Cthulhu with his red shorts and his little glowing sword. 
and his cute little wings and... Aha! A helpless maiden beset my, my vicious monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. And it's gonna take more than that. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It'll take many heroic deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. Targon! They'll just kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence! Yay, violence! Goose. Dangerous species for obvious reasons. One down. The monsters are getting stronger with each turn. Alright. All the houses are getting full HP and 3 MP. Level up, Cthulhu! Level up bonus. Any strength or insane magic. Well, I have yet to learn magic, so I'm just gonna go with, uh. Gonna go with strength. Die, foul slime monsters! As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monsters, he turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous! What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. Warning, image display may not reflect reality. Um... My hero! Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Targon! At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction! Oh, brave warrior who has saved me from a gooey death! Let me join you on your noble quest! You do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea, and call them my friends. Well, no wonder you like him. Not to mention Umi is Japanese for the ocean, where Cthulhu originally came from, so... Pass. Oh, and I have this dragon which I used to stab things. That's more like it. And above all, I, Umi, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion, you great big green hunk of handsomeness. Yes, the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Yay! Does this mean we're dating now? No, we're in a strictly rock star groupie relationship. Yeah, but you're gonna need more people before you, before you become a real uh, rock star groupie. For now. <laughs> Umi has joined your party. Random counters are now active. Oh, so there are limited random encounters for each area, but you can opt to fight more, if you so choose. Let's see, what have you got? Siren's Call. Oh, you can heal! Awesome! Huh, we got potions and one-ups. Not no item menu. Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? A live starfish in your hair. And people think I'm disgusting. So the town of Miss Catonia is just past this series of caves. Sure, there are some heroic deeds you could do there. To Miss Catonia! I uh, this is based off Miss Catonic University, isn't it? Huh. So we have a So we have a manual save and a save point. But these restore MP, so that's awesome. 
But anyways, Miss Catonia is probably based off Miss Catonic University in Lovecraftian lore. I believe it's in the uh, in the town of Arkham. Oh boy! Right off the bat, four monsters. Well, let's try the insane strike first. Get rid of these rats. Nor are you gonna attack that takes down all enemies. Oh, you can see their HP, too. Heal... Your, heal thyself. Umi is level 5, let's see. Saying agility or hide. Well, considering you're the white mage of the group, I think it'd be, uh, like, get more, uh, make you less able to be hit. Got to protect that, uh, Wait, am I going backwards? I completely lost track of the map already. What a wonderful start to this Let's Play. <laughs> I'm doing a massive damage from weak points. The crab is insane! I repeat, the crab is insane. We keep getting, regaining full HP and 4 MP. I did pick normal for the difficulty level, right? Right? As we near completion of the game, we made discovery. Wait a minute. I I turned the commentary off. Man, alright, Umi is so overpowered. I mean, starting off with a spell that attacks all enemies.
So according to the little devs notes, the red lanterns are there to mark where you where to go for the next area. But I want that treasure chest over there. MP too. Level up Cthulhu. So we can pretty much choose to make Cthulhu like either strength or magic oriented. Going more for strength oriented for now. Please tunic! Whip. Ah! Uzumaki! No! And I just finished playing World of Horror 2! Kill it, Omi! Up here, I was supposed to go. And thank God for the run button. Light strike blind. Enemy air one group. I'll go blind strike. It's just because uh, it does damage as well. Even if it's just just the one enemy. Only just started with the game, and I will say right off the bat that I was supposed to go the other way to get the treasure chest. No, that's not. What I meant to say is that I like this game's humor already. Like, I get the feeling that that the creators had fun making this game. Ugh, evil dolphins!
enemies have gotten really hard all of a sudden. Uh, the screen went green all of a sudden. I think it's because I'm low on health. Yeah, that's why. So, wow! Enemies just got really hard all of a sudden. Wait, no, I was going right Dang it. And after all my talk of this being easy... Seahorse. Ah, and now enemies are using magic. Hay bears and jelly beans, huh? Come on, finish it off! And we're not getting as much MP back as I thought. We got 13 battles left. Huh? What's that on the horizon? Um, I'm... Elonalia? Elanalia, Lena, on behalf of the Earth, we will right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you. Switchblade's the name. I'm, I'm here to steal from the wicked to give to the just. I am Dash the Daring. My courage is only rivaled by my good looks. Oh. It's the typical RPG heroes. Hello. I am Cthulhu, and this is my fangirl. We are the three heroes of goodly justice. Dark Fiend Cthulhu, we will defeat you and restore light to the world. You're a Dark Fiend? You should have told me! That's so sexy! I see you use your vile magic to ensnare that beautiful maiden. Release her. Please, if I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much hotter. Hey! Your narrator, do I get hero points for being annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm gonna beat them up anyway. Virtue always triumphs over evil. We're sure to win. Your friend over there doesn't look too virtuous hiding behind that cloak and all. I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. <laughs> Puny humans, even with my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to deal with you. Prepare to be defeated. Cleric, hero, and thief. Uh, dang it. Unite. Uh, short. 
You summon a giant kraken! Well, let's get rid of the cleric first. MP Targon Get rid of the hero next. Your last heal. Adventurers, I wouldn't worry about it. They probably already respawned at the nearest church. I wonder if we'll meet them again. Probably. Enough contemplation! Onward to heroism! Kinda came off. I was actually worried. Oh, and of course, we don't have a run button. Cthulhu doesn't run! I'm just glad for that full HP restore after each battle. MP though, that's the real challenge. I am actually amazed at how diffi difficult this game got all of a sudden. Ah, uh, but no. Our poses can completely revive the dead. Hmm, do I want agility or vitality and will? Eh, you can stand to be a bit faster. 
Anyways, I was saying, I'm surprised how hard this game's gotten so quickly. We don't have anything to restore MP. But... Restoring HP is easy enough. Ah, uh, gold. This is what we need. Ah! What is that thing in the middle? Yeah, that's scary. I think I'm going to save my MP for heals. If just because we have a finite number of potions. I think we just went to a big loop. <laughs> Iron Sword, awesome. That's what I needed. Wait, didn't I just... Everything is starting to look the same now. This just seems to be the downside of playing, uh, like, these types of RPGs, is that as you're exploring and doing all these random encounters... We have six battles left, by the way. That you run out of things to talk about. And people will probably get bored of watching you.
think it was pretty awesome we summoned a Kraken, though. Ugh, these things on the other hand. And then comes the beta. Oh, finally! MP restored! Yes, yes, God, yes! This was what I needed. Huh. Bells and Doubles is a save point. Doesn't mean we have to fight another boss. As our adventurers cross the long bridge leading to Miss Catonia. Look at the ocean! A strange beast jumps out of the ocean. Hurtling itself towards Cthulhu and Umi. Looks like a star terror. Haven't seen one of those since my days on Rigel. Ah, my Roman numeral count doesn't go that high. Time to prove yourself, groupie. What about all those battles we fought to get to this point? Mere child's play. Now, show me what you got. Ah, just as I thought. You get a save point with MP Restore. Of course that means there's gonna be a boss. No, doesn't doesn't lose tentacles as you heard it. Dang it. What we got? Once per battle. Well good news is it looks like it's actually weak to fire. Insane and stunned. Oof. Come on, let's keep this up. Uh oh. Yeah, we gotta finish it this turn. Yes! Level up, level up, level up! Get all my stats up. Not as useless as I suspected. Yay! I'm not useless! Hey, wait a second. I feel bad for the Star Terror, though. They remind me of my pet starfish. You know, if instead of being a cute little friend, it was a huge, terrifying monstrosity. Don't kid yourself, Umi. If that Star Terror ever got the chance, he'd eat you and everyone you care about. Well, obviously, I'm not stupid. I still feel sorry for it, though. You're not stupid, yet you see Cthulhu as a handsome hero. And yay, we made it out of the seaside. And into our first town. With nice music. <sighs> oh, Miss Catonia. We'll look into that in the next video. But I like the humor. Kind of a little bit surprised with the, the, with the gameplay mechanics gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but it's not a bad thing. But anyway, until next time, this is Nazo, signing off.